Hello everyone, Frozen Corsair, and welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 3. In the last week, we did Cyrus's story and his journey of self-reflection, and we ended up seeing become the inheritor of the Cyrus Isle. And this week, we are probably, this is going to be a filler week. Uh, I decided to just do one of the stories that uh, usually dealt with the, uh, I guess, like the Column 2 characters. They all have the same story, unfortunately, so I figured why not just show it off and see what the story is all about. Uh, so yeah, and what better way to do it than to team up with everyone's favorite doctor, Dr. Crowler. Uh, so yeah, if you're enjoying the series and you want to see more, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, so, uh, I, to compliment Dr. Crowler, I, uh, made an Ancient Gear deck. Uh, unfortunately I don't have any other real way of bringing back monsters from the graveyard. Uh, so, that's, that's fun. But, I think we should be fine. We should be more than fine. Yeah. Working with Ancient Gear Workshop, the castle. I put Gear Town in here just cause it's really good because you basically lose a tribute for them. So if you have a, like a level six, uh, if you have like a level six or whatever, it's no longer you don't need a tribute. If it's a level eight or higher, you just use one tribute instead. So I, I think we should be fine. Uh, what else did I add? Oh yeah, I added Power Bond just so I can get that double. <laughs> that double attack for the golem. Uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, put bottomless, I put dark bribe, just in case they want to try and pop my field spell or whatever, or anything like that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, let's go do the story. I don't know what it's going to be about, so, yeah. Oh, graduation! The agony! What's all the fuss about, Vice Chancellor Crowler? Oh, he's not... Oh, okay. I don't want to see the students graduate. I won't allow it! The loneliness will be unbearable. Imagine what this academy will be like after the seniors graduate. Just the thought of it is unbearable. Well, yeah, this island is in the middle of the ocean. It's such an ordeal to... to an ordeal just to get here. But preventing them from graduating, isn't that overdoing it a little? Yeah, I agree. Not letting them graduate is a tad harsh. It's not like I don't understand how you feel. Ah, you guys again? You guys are really something else. A school where professors and underclassmen are against graduation? How ridiculous is that? Your class is special. There's something about you all that sets you apart from the rest. You mean me too? Aw, oh, poor Bastion. <laughs> oh. However, I also feel that preventing graduation is a little harsh. We could just put it off for a year or so. There's no harm in that. And the students' skills will increase during that time, too. It'll be a win-win situation. You who oppose graduation, you don't understand the feelings of us seniors. Some of us must graduate. Isn't that, Andrea? Isn't that right, Andrea? Y yeah. Andrea, why in Sam Hill would you need to graduate? What? Well, we have our reasons for preventing you from graduating, too. I guess the only way to settle this is with a duel. You have the honor of facing yours truly. Chorus, you'll be joining me. Chorus, does this mean you don't want to graduate? You must win this duel and prove everyone from prevent everyone from graduating. Looks like we have no choice then. Chorus, let's do this. Chorus, what is it? Does this mean you have no plans of graduating? Andrea, Lily, crush them. Right. Wait, wait, hold on a minute. I... Just because I'm partnering up with... Crowd doesn't necessarily mean I don't want to graduate either. What the hell? What is this? Oh, what is this nonsense? Uh, yeah, let's just go second. Oh, that's just so dumb. That is absolutely foolish. Oh man, I am so happy that you tipped me about adding the Japanese voices in this. Just hearing Crowley's voice is just perfect. It's just, it's so great. <laughs> is she running a dino deck or is she running a earth deck? Oh no, she's running a dino deck. Oh my god, that's gonna be a little scary. That might be a little scary. But I think we got it.
Oh, is he gonna bring out Gear Town? Nice. Yeah, buddy. Too bad he doesn't have any of the gears. Is that why he can make use of the Gadgetron Dragon? Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, I see what she's doing. Ooh. Oh, she's a fairy deck? Oh, God. Fairies aren't that dangerous at this stage, but... 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 <laughs> they're still a threat, you know what I'm saying? They're not as bad as they are now, but... Ooh. Like, Master Hyperion and... Uh... And, like, the agents and stuff. Woohoo! Oh. Hope I can... I hope I draw... Heavy Storm so I could just pop that, all of that back there. Oh, even better! Giant Trunade? I will... Yeah, okay. Now I activate my Gear Town. And bring out the good boy. I'll show you who's top dog. And set this. Uh, nah. And let's go for the jugular. Uh, let's destroy this. Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, that's right! Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, its effects negated. Damn, that's nasty. That is hella nasty. Alright, your turn. <laughs> I forgot about Ancient Gear Dog, Ancient Gear Beast. That's a good one. One of these days, I'm going to sit there and go through all 100 floors to get Mouse Reborn. I kind of want to, just because. Especially since Call of the Haunted is banned. Ooh, Jurassic World? Uh, No, I'm going to negate that. I was saving that for Sanctuary in the Sky, but it's okay. Yeah, no, 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 thank you. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to go after my... Oh, you're going after my beast. Okay. All right, Crowler. Ooh. Oh, okay, well... Yeah, destroy that. Unfortunately, that goes... what? Remove from play? No. Okay. Alright, so she's gonna bring out Sanctuary, right? Yeah! Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh my god. That is so good. Like, even though Ancient, even though Gear Town gets destroyed and whatever, it's still so good. Okay, now I really want Heavy Storm. Hmm. Well, I might as well just summon regularly. And... I can't do anything. <laughs> so I guess I end my turn. I can't attack. Oh, that's why. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to kill you quickly. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to kill her quickly. Yeah, that's a problem. Okay. Ancient gear. Oh, I was gonna say ancient gear explosive. What are you doing? Oh, uh, okay. I see what you're trying to do. No, I don't. No, what are you trying? What is he trying to accomplish? Okay. So she has a fairy deck and some kind of final in the destiny board thing. Okay. That's a little scary, not gonna lie. Why is this slowing down? Okay, why is this slowing down like... Oh, hey. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, we don't want to go for. Um, honestly, I think I can afford to grab this and use it as a tribute. Because why the hell not? And let's go battle. Um, yeah, let's go for this thing. Yeah, negate your effect. <laughs> uh, yes. Um. No, I don't want to. Yeah, because she takes no battle damage, so that sucks. Yeah, another shiny angel. Yeah, let's just pop this thing. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, you bitch. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Okay, well that sucks. Man, if only I could just get Ancient Gear Soldier, Ancient Gear Golem, why isn't he not here? Because I'm not, so I'm a little nervous about that, uh, Destiny board. That makes me a little nervous. Oh, that's not what I wanted, damn it. Uh, no. Let's bring another Ancient Gear Knight. And let's destroy this. And now we can go right for the face. Because as long as that. Because as long as though, as long as this thing is there, she can't bring out Destiny Board, right? That that's the thing, right? You have to have your whole back row emptied for this thing to work. Yeah, she can't. A she can't activate it. She kind of screwed herself over with that, right? If I remember correctly. And now her whole back room, so she can't use any spells or trap cards. I believe. <laughs> I think that's how that works. I believe that's how that works. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she kind of screwed herself over.
Oh, what? God damn it. Ew, that sucks. Oh. Oh, damn, wow. Damn, all right. Well, that was, that was pretty interesting. Okay, good job, Crawler. I was wondering, like, when you were going to use that explosive. <gasps> what? We did it! Graduation is cancelled! So, Andrea, what were you talking about earlier? Oh, uh, well... Little Andrea here must do whatever it takes to graduate. What do you mean, whatever it takes? Lily, you started to sound like my mom again. Oh, sorry. Anyway, Andrea has to join the family business when she graduates. She'd rather continue down the path of dueling, but joining the family business would ensure a steady income. That's what I meant when I said that there are those who must graduate. Oh, so that's why. Yeah, and I have a lot of sisters. They're all still young. But I love dueling, so it's not like I'm going to quit after I graduate. I plan to teach the joys of dueling to the kids in my neighborhood. Andrea? Yeah, so, see what I mean? Are you guys still anti-graduation? You can't avoid it. Graduation will happen. It's just a matter of time. Aw. Ah! Vice Chancellor Crowler, I hereby defect to the pro-graduation side. Why, you? How dare you? Well, I guess everyone's got something waiting for them on the horizon. Aw. From here on out, it's going to be my duty to stop Vice Chancellor Crowler. Now get away from those graduating students. Oh, shit. What? Stop! How terrifying. I I'm getting out of here. Aw. Something on the horizon, huh? Aw. That's so bittersweet. Alright, so I'm going to see you at the next chapter. Alright, let's start the second chapter. Back in the main gate again. That's kind of weird. Is that? It's him. Hmm? Excuse me, but are you... Hey, you haven't seen you in a while. Hmm, you guys aren't students at the academy, are you? Huh? Well, there's only one name that you lovely legs need to know. One name? What is... The most, the name of the most talented, handsome duelist ever born, Atticus Rhodes. Yours truly, of course. Don't forget it, girls. <laughs> oh no. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. The Night Shroud I know isn't as flamboyant as this guy. But then again, this guy's not bad either. Do you really think he isn't who we think he is? Hmm, maybe he's lost his memory from some kind of traumatic experience. I know. Let's do him, then we'll know for sure. Excuse me, will you duel me? You want to duel me? Sure, no problem. I got nothing else to do at the moment. Hmm, I have an idea. Of course, would you mind being my opponent? I'll be partners with her. Dueling isn't just about fighting, it's about working together, too. Through this duel, we'll be able to find out the truth. His dueling technique will tell us if he really, if he really is who we think he is. Oh, so these are the guys who were in the first game, right? Like all those, uh... What was that arc called? I forgot what it was, but like it was all had something to do with, you know, Atticus being Night Shroud and protecting Duel Island from, um. Ah, I can't remember. It's all in the first game. Ah, that much I do remember. You, you, you can remind me in the comments, but yeah, I, I know. I. Out of all the teachers, why? Atticus is so laid back. It's crazy to think that this guy was like, basically being manipulated to be like, this uh, Night Shroud guy. Hmm. 
Hmm, the only thing that sucks is that we won't be able to bring out... What's his face? I don't think he'll throw away his whole hand just for the morphing jar, would he? But then again, this is the computer, so... Oh, yes he is. Oh, yes he is. And he'll be able to special summon... Oh, that's... Oh, oh no. Okay, no, he can't... Yeah, he can't special summon from... Yeah, you can't special summon like that. Okay, never mind. That's actually really smart. That's actually very smart. Oh my gosh. That's actually very smart. Man, I think I said it before. I think I said it like a long time ago. Man, I wish Konami would take, make a another Tag Force game where it's more up to date with like all of like the stuff that's in this that's uh, current. Because I would love to use Ancient Gears in this format in like the later format. Like my God, like Ancient Gears got an upgrade. So many other cards got an upgrade and everything. It's crazy. Oh, she uses Grave Keepers. Oh, that's fun. Unfortunately, Necrofab is going to be a pain in the ass. Because uh, you can't do anything in the graveyard. It basically locks down your graveyard. Unless I pop the whole field. Now, that would be pretty cool. But I don't see that happening. Never mind. I stand corrected. <laughs> I stand corrected. Aww. Aww, never mind. Okay, yeah. As what I would have said. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I could just add... What's his face? Because it's not special. Oh, yeah, no, I can't... God, ooh, I hate this, I hate this deck. I hate Gravekeepers with a burning passion. I'm just gonna set this. Actually, no, what am I doing? And set this. So I can do this. Ooh. Hopefully I can pop this. And now... Oh, I need another Ancient Gear monster. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, so now... Activate that. Tribute this. And let's summon the big boy himself. battle. Go, Gadgetron. Can't activate any spells or traps. That's why I love Ancient Gears so much. <laughs> and mechanized melee. Here comes a giant fist. And then next turn, like, I think Crowl will be able to use polymerization to bring out Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, I think. Very, very good. We got this in the bag. Oh, oh, wow, he's tributing it? Oh, that's cool. But why? <laughs> Wait, can't you just use Power Bond? I feel like you can. 
I guess he doesn't want to. Ultimate... Wait, did he say Ultimate Pound? That doesn't sound as cool as Mechanized Melee, in my opinion. But that's game. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have... Oh, no. It's not game yet. But it will be game, like, after this. Yeah, it sounds like he's saying Ultimate Pound. Alright. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Nice job. Ooh, nice. We got a level 4 in the clear. Okay, I'll take that. Nice job, you two. Ugh, I knew it. It's him. It was you in the other dimension. Huh? There you are, Atticus. I can't believe you're hanging out here instead of dueling us. Come on, I won't leave until you duel me. Aw, oh, man. Sissy, can you help me out here? <sighs> I don't think so. <laughs> Look how much the ladies love him. Atticus, you're a magician of love. Uh, well, it's time to make my departure. Until next time. No, wait for me, Atticus. Oh, don't go. Wait. What? Was that Tanya? I didn't know she was in this world as well. Hey, hey, wait for me, Tanya. Oh, boy, everyone's thirsty. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder if my brother's going to be like that until he graduates. Hey, that was Atticus, wasn't it? Without a doubt. I'm glad to know he's doing well, living happily. Atticus is a great guy. This academy is full of good people. That's all I needed to know. Even if I'm in another dimension, I will never forget Atticus. Once I've seen everyone graduate, I'll return to the other dimension. Are you sure? Yes, I'll be wishing for his happiness from afar. Come back and see us any time, alright? Thank you. Oh, that was kind of sad. Alright, so, in the next episode, we'll wrap up this story. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time.